Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is that blood that makes me white as snow. No other fountain I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is that blood that makes me white as snow. No other fountain I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus can make me whole again. Greetings, everyone, and good morning to everyone here in the sanctuary and all of you this morning that are joining us once again for Sunday school here at Providence Special Guide in Christ. Where we are located here at 1210 Montlew Avenue here in the city of High Point, North Carolina, where Pastor Marshall Newsom oversees, protects, and feeds yes. and cares for the flock of God. Amen. This is what God expects him to do. Amen. It's his reasonable service as a pastor in bearing that cross attached to being a pastor. Amen. This means pastors must sacrifice a great deal in caring for the flock of God. But God helps them carry the load. Amen? Amen. Yeah, we pray for our pastor. We just want to thank God for Amen. imparting wisdom into him and to for guiding his heart yes. and for helping him to deal with us. Amen. Now y'all know how we can do. Amen. But we thank God for our pastor. <laughs> Let's give God praise. Amen. 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 We just really want to thank you. We thank you. We are grateful. Yes. We are all grateful Amen. for having someone Help us along the way. Amen. 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 Join Amen. now for a word of prayer. Yes, Lord. Father, Our Father God. in heaven, we come before you Amen. as one, on one accord, yes. believing and trusting in you, Lord. Yes. We honor and glorify your name, for you are worthy of all praise. Yes. For you alone are God, and of all power is in your yes, mighty Lord. hands. All power, mighty God. Forgive us now, Heavenly Father, for our weaknesses and our unbelief and our lack of faith. Have yes. mercy on us all today, yes, Heavenly yes, Father. Yes, Strengthen yes. us against the besetting sins in our lives. Yes. And Heavenly Father, help us that are leaders with our natural hearing loss yes, Lord. and our spiritual hearing loss. Lord God, for we are hearing, but we are failing to listen. Help us, God. Help us, help us Heavenly yes. Father, so that we don't unknowingly create stumbling blocks for saints of God. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for your magnificent grace and mercy for our for our lives and for your healing hands in all areas of our life. Yes, we thank you, Father, for your word of God. Thank and Heavenly Father, we thank you for being saved today yes, and for the many blessings that you bestow upon us. Yes, we ask you now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus that the word reach out to the hearts of the saints yes, Lord. and even to the lost that need to hear yes, your voice. And all, we pray that all yes. will believe. In Jesus Christ's in name Jesus we pray. Name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank Amen. Amen. And well, once again, we just want to thank everyone today as we get started with today's lesson. Yes. And we do hope uh, that you will share these recordings with your friends on Facebook mm -hmm. or join us here in the sanctuary on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. for the teaching of the Word of God. Amen. Now, today we are in lesson number nine for August 1st, 2021. One of four remaining lessons before we end the summer quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've had some awesome lessons, yeah. Pastor. Uh, we've had some awesome lessons from the fall quarter that began back in uh, September of 2021. Mm -hmm. And we have learned a great deal. And I am so happy to have been a part of this journey uh, for the Sunday school teachings. Uh, now, today's lesson is titled Salvation for All Who Believe. Mm -hmm. Salvation for all who believe. How many understand this morning Amen. that not all believe? That's right. Amen? Amen. Now, our 
basis for this morning is found in Romans 10, <clears throat> verses 5 through 17. Mm -hmm. Now, a little bit about the book of Romans. Mm -hmm. uh, Romans uh, is a letter written uh, to the Roman church by the Apostle Paul, mm -hmm. who had never been to Rome when he wrote this particular letter, though he ex clearly expressed his desire to travel there and in the future. Now, you can reference that in Acts 19 and 21. And at the time of this writing, Paul, uh, the writing of this letter, Paul was in the Greek city of Corinth in around A.D. 56 or 57. Mm -hmm. So why is Rome, Romans, this letter so important to us this day? Well, one reason for sure, uh, you can reference what's sometimes they call the Romans road. Mm -hmm. uh, that's particularly that the road to salvation. Yes. You know, call it the Romans road, yes. the road, the road to salvation. And that's in, you can, you can find that in verses, uh, Romans 10, 9, I believe, specifically. So Ro this letter is important because Roman uh, stands out the clearest and most systematic presentation of Christian doctrine. That's the teaching of the gospel and scripture. Paul begins by discussing something is easily observable in the world. And that is the sinfulness of humanity. Mm -hmm. All people have been condemned because of rebellion against God. Uh, however, God in his grace offers mm -hmm. us justification. That means being declared righteous mm -hmm. by faith in his son, Jesus. Now, class, the primary theme running through Paul's letter to the Romans is the revelation of God's righteousness in his plan for salvation, what the Bible calls the gospel. Mm -hmm. It is the power of God at work, saving everyone who believes, the Jew first, and also to the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. So the question I have for you this morning, class, uh, I want to plant this into your mind this morning is, does your life, does your day-to-day -day life mirror the Christian belief mm -hmm. you hold? Just a question. Mm -hmm. Or do you find yourself in constant battle with hypocrisy? Mm -hmm. Just a seed there. I want you to hold on to that. Does your life mirror what we profess to be in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now listen, as Deaconess Knotts reads our Bible truth through the students' responses. In our Bible truth for this morning's lesson, Paul <clears throat> proclaims the good news that salvation is available to everyone. Our memory verse, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And that's Romans 10, 13 in the King James Version. The lesson aim for today's lesson by the end of this lesson, we will support Paul's confidence in salvation offered in Christ, feel justified through our faith in Christ, and embrace with joy the possibility for all. In our lesson overview, our life needs for today's lesson, many people lack confidence in addressing life circumstances. Mm -hmm. How can one gain trust? Salvation comes to all who confess Jesus Christ as Lord and believe in their hearts. Mm -hmm. The Bible learning, Christ's only hope, humanity's only hope for salvation. Our Bible application, Christians share the gospel with family, friends, neighbor, and coworkers. In our students' response, believers, believers support, support spreading, spreading the, the gospel, gospel through, through missions, missions and, and evangelism. evangelism. Amen. 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 Believers, yes. believers support. Mm -hmm. We stand behind it. We get in the field and we do the work. We support spreading the gospel mm -hmm. through missions and mm -hmm. evangelism. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Deaconess. Thank you. Amen. And we thank God as we get started this morning. Uh, today, uh, we want to be sure that everyone understands, everyone understands that salvation is not limited in its availability, Amen. but to all who believe. Mm -hmm. But because of what we have been taught down through the years, many are limited in their beliefs, mm -hmm. limited beliefs. Believers that don't believe. Believers that don't believe. Limited faith. Mm -hmm. But salvation is available to all who believe. Not in yourself. Not in the things of this world. Mm -hmm. This world cannot save us. Mm -hmm. But it's belief in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We don't want to complicate things. We just want to make it plain. Mm -hmm. Make it plain and make it simple. Amen. We struggle sometimes because we overburden ourselves with our own unbelief mm -hmm. because we believe what we want to believe rather than to submitting to what the word of God said amen. which is really a light burden mm -hmm. amen amen now that just means available to who 
It means everybody. That means to both the Jew and the Gentile. It's for the rich and the poor, mm -hmm. all races, all nations, mm -hmm. for the free or for the slave, on all continents in every nation, in homes, in jails, on the street. It does not matter what your status is or how terrible or unworthy one may think their lives are. And I know people are depressed because mm -hmm. they just don't think they're worthy. Mm -hmm. Some people don't even think they're worthy to be loved. Mm -hmm. But I want you to know this morning, the word of God says in Matthew eleven twenty-eight. 28, a little problem with my light here, let's see. Okay, I'm getting a little shadow. He says, come to me, mm -hmm. all you who are weary and burdened, mm -hmm. and I will give you rest. Yes. Jesus alone mm -hmm. invites, uh, makes this invitation to men. Mankind can come to him when feeling perfect, when feeling their guilt mm -hmm. and misery, and believing, y'all. Mm -hmm. They have to believe. Yes. You know, they have to believe, and believing in his love and power to help, seeking him in fervent prayer. Therefore, it is the duty. It is up to you. It is up to you and in your best interest of the weary and the heavy laden sinners to come to Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the gospel call. Whoever will, let him come. Uh, one reference, that's Revelation twenty two seventeen is one reference and another one is in Mark eight thirty four, which reads, and when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, mm -hmm. whosoever, somebody say that again, whosoever so will come after me, mm -hmm. let him deny himself, mm -hmm. take up his cross and follow me. Mm -hmm. Now class, let's just be clear on what that means. Mm -hmm. So taking up your cross refers to giving your whole life to God, just as Jesus was about to give his life for all of us. Amen. He picked up his cross, he took it out to Mount Calvary, and he gave his yes. life. Yes. The word said no man mm -hmm. took his life. He gave his life. Yes. People need to get this thing down right to understand the, the, the enormous significance of what has happened. So let me put it to you a little simple, like us country boys do. You ain't gonna live forever. Mm. Right. You understand? Right. You need to know that you got a resting place for your soul. Yes. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. see, there was a price to be paid mm -hmm. because we were in sin. Mm -hmm. And we don't get this thing right on that final time. When your eyes blink for the last time, that, don't you want to go into the bosom of God? Don't mm -hmm. you want to be saved? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why do we want to live in all of this turbulence now, die and go to hell, mm -hmm. and spend eternity with the same and worse? Mm -hmm. Come now. Sure. Just let's reason together this morning. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? So, so uh, that means... If you, if you follow Jesus, pick up your cross and follow him, this will lead us to willingly, willingly deny self. Mm -hmm. This statement makes me think of an old school gospel song that I used to love to listen to when I was playing 45 for my mama. <laughs> and it said, uh, may the work I've done speak for me. Mm -hmm. Then he went on to say, may the life I live speak for me. Then may the service I give speak for me. And let me end it right here. He said, but when I stand before my God, I want to hear him say, well done. May the life I live speak for me. And I, I just think about that sometimes in that he see, see, if we follow Christ and if we do what he asked us to do, I want to my life to speak for me. Yes. I want the work I've done. To speak mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. And I want it to be a good report. Yeah. You see what I mean? So therefore, all who come will receive rest mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus mm -hmm. uh, as a gift and obtain peace and comfort in their hearts. Can we all use some peace and comfort in our life today? Yes, sir. But coming to him, they must take up his yoke, which is light, and submit. Uh-oh. Submit to his authority. Some of us still have problems with submitting to authority. Just as the first generation of freed Israelites had a problem submitting to the authority of God and Moses, mm -hmm. notice now they never made it mm -hmm. to the promised land. That's right. Likewise, my friends, likewise y'all, we must submit to Jesus' authority mm -hmm. 
in order to make it to heaven. Amen. That class is a, is a, is a lesson all to itself, yes, sir. especially in, that, in the terms of submission. They must learn of him all things. You've got to learn of Jesus all things as to their comfort and obedience. God accepts the willing servant, however imperfect, the services. Mm -hmm. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. How you know we ain't we ain't gonna be perfect in all that we do. But at least try. try. Right. Get try. stride for it. Contend yeah. for it. Mm -hmm. We are not gonna be oh uh, uh, get A pluses on every little thing we do. Amen. You know? We but we we got to strive mm -hmm. to do towards perfection. Huh? My friends, all this implies is that that anyone can come as they are. Or better said, in whatever condition one finds themselves, mm -hmm. whosoever, whoever you are, salvation is for all who believe. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to talk about believing this morning until the bell rings, because we got some belief issues. Amen? Mm -hmm. Somebody say, Lord, help my unbelief. Lord, help my unbelief. Amen. Now, today's Amen. lesson is divided into three parts, and it teaches three principles. First part of the lesson is called the futility of the law, Romans 10 and 5. Mm -hmm. The second part is Christ, Christ fulfills the law, Romans 10, verses 6 through 7. And part 3, faith, faith, not the law, mm -hmm. Romans 10, verses 8 through 17. Mm -hmm. Then the lesson reaches on out a little further, and it teaches three principles of fundamental truths. Mm -hmm. First, the lesson speaks of justification. Uh, of that, a favorable verdict. Somebody say favorable. Favorable. To declare one to be righteous, the sentence of condemnation is reversed. Mm -hmm. The sentence of condemnation is reversed. Mm -hmm. See Romans 4, 25. Mm -hmm. We talk about also the principle of salvation, where God brings one from a state of sin to glory in Christ, mm -hmm. to a position of safety and victory over the enemy. I like that, time, that word, victory. Victory, victory. victory over the enemy. Under God's grace, one can experience eternal life. First Chronicles 16, 23. And faith and righteousness is the third principle. Confirmation, or confirmation, that's C-O-N-F-O-R, not confirm. Conform. Amen? Mm -hmm. That's um, being in compliance to God's perfect law and enduring a long-lasting way of life and that only God is inherently righteous. But his righteousness is imputed in or given to all who have faith in Jesus Christ. Romans 1, 17. Therefore, just the just and the upright shall live by what? Faith. faith. Habakkuk 2 and 4. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Thank, thank, you, thank, Lord. You, Lord. thank you, Lord. God has given thank us a, a tremendous, yes. uh, uh, I would call it a recipe or a road map or the Roman road to salvation. Yes. All we have to do is what? Believe. 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 I told you we're going to ring the believe bell this morning. Amen. Amen. Let's go to part one of our lesson, uh, uh, the futility of the law. Romans 10, 5. Read, please. Uh, verse 5. <laughs> For Moses describeth the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which doth those things shall live by them. Amen. I want to just say a couple of things about verse 5 this morning. Uh, Paul uh, explains to us today that if we want to pursue and choose, this is what he's telling these people, if you want to, you want to choose your own righteousness, that is from the law. Uh, we can, mm -hmm. but one needs to understand that those that do will live by the law, mm -hmm. all of it. Mm -hmm. Saints of God, some of us can't even abide by the guidelines and govern the local church. Right. Yeah? Right. Where accountability, stewardship, giving of time and offerings, fellowship, loving each other as we have been told to do, or abide by an on-time attendance standard for the congregation. Well, why is that? Well, to name a few reasons, fear of commitment, mm -hmm. rebellion, guess what? Unbelief. Mm -hmm. I'm a grown man. I'm a grown woman. Uh, I know what I got to do. I'll get there when I get there. Sound familiar? Mm. Mm -hmm. It is not the leader one is rebelling against, but against God. Yes, See, a, 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 a authority is given by God. Yes, but we as leaders are not to abuse the flock either. But you see, we are to take we take our orders 
from a high authority. Yes. And when he puts you in authority, we are under authority. And then yes. under us, there may be others under us. Yes. But we are still under somebody's authority. Yes. So as a result, you must submit to authority. It will create a calmness about you. Yes. You have to have this willing heart to submit to somebody else. Yes. But no, no. We're going to be just, some of us just like the Israelites, like the early generation, kicking dust in the, out in the wilderness and crying and carrying on every little thing. Somebody got to cry. And these the people cried so they angered God. Yes, they did. But they had an intercessor. Yeah. Pastor Moses. Mm -hmm. They might have might, might not have made it before they, before they you know what I mean? God, he interceded for them. So, so don't buck authority so easy. Yes. But it takes a lot to change the mind of a slave. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. What am I saying to you this morning? I'm saying when we're coming in to the kingdom of God, we're coming in out of sin. We're coming in out of re a rebellious world. Yeah. And you got to come in and come underneath somebody mm. and listen and submit to somebody. Mm. Don't, don't get so upset when people buck against you. Huh. Now, saints, one, most, one must honestly examine themselves this morning applying the affirmation thoughts. And I realize that if we are living strictly by the law, think about this. Mm. And if being in place at church on time was one of the law's strict requirements, would we then be on time and in place on Sunday mornings? Mm. Let me answer that for you. No. And would we probably have to, we would probably have to endure some, some punishment based on that law mm -hmm. or some punishment added by the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, thank God for grace. Thank God, God for grace. Lord have mercy. Yes. Now the law required at this time, the law required perfect obedience. Mm -hmm. Something that was impossible for fallen humanity. That's right. To make things even more stringent, to be saved by the law, a person would have to live according to the, all the edicts mm -hmm. of the entire Mosaic law, mm -hmm. including, y'all, the added interpretations of the scribes and the Pharisees. Yes. Now, y'all know what? You know those guys, by the time Jesus was born, they had added 1,226 mm -hmm. more stringent laws. Yes. Yes. Amen. Some called, had 613 laws. They had 365 negative commands and 248 positive laws. Don't you understand the burden, the increased burden yeah. that they put on these poor people? Yeah. They could, they couldn't go out of the tent during a certain time, like on uh, uh, what do they call it, the um, right before uh, uh, Passover or something like that. Mm -hmm. You can go out in the tent 15 feet, but you can't go no more than 30 feet to the left, 30 feet to the right. These kind of things. You can't drink but so much water when the sun. You, you, come on. <laughs> And you got to deal with all of this in your mind. Sometimes we do the same types of things in the house of God. Mm -hmm. We add stuff to people that they cannot yeah. bear, mm -hmm. making it more difficult. Uh, so, the law, to, to, you know, the law was so difficult that sinning, even one time, would be called a disqualification. So how many of us would be able to claim mm -hmm. that they could live by the law today? Well, I assure you, the answer is none. Mm -hmm. uh, these people created uh, an environment where there was a heartless, cold, arrogant brand of righteousness. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Accountability to God was taken away and turned towards being accountable to man. Mm -hmm. To man. Mm -hmm. huh? So you see, saints, Paul had his hands full when he was talking to these Romans over here at the Romans church. Jews and Gentiles explaining that no one can be saved meeting such high standards. Mm -hmm. So some were trying to live saved on the rules of the law because breaking even one law condemned a man. Mm -hmm. So today we thank God for Jesus. Mm -hmm. We thank yeah, God for thank Jesus because we thank God for grace and his mercy today. Mm -hmm. Because of our faith and obedience to Jesus Christ and what he did for us on the cross, we are justified and made righteous mm -hmm. in the sight of God. Mm -hmm. And it is by the grace, not the law, that we live. It is by grace, not the law, mm -hmm. that we live. Yeah. Because Jesus fulfilled the law and only he could do it so as we so as the title uh part one title implies it is futile mm -hmm. what does it say the part one title futile, futile mm -hmm. the futility of the law yeah it is futile a vain effort to try to live by and be saved by the law mm -hmm. or by church traditions ceremonies mm -hmm. works or just being a good person, mm. deluding ourselves into thinking we will get to heaven. But I assure you this morning, we need God's grace. Yes. 
Class, will you obey the Lord this morning? Yes, Lord. Somebody say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And yes, Lord. just remember, yes. trying to live your life in mm. accordance with the law is a futile effort. We need the grace of God. Amen. But the law is not destroyed. Mm. We'll get to that. Yes. Let's go to part two of a lesson where it talks about Christ fulfills the law in Romans 10, verses 6 through 7. Please read. In verse 6, but the righteous which is of faith speak, is a, speak on this why. Say not in thine heart, who shall ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down from above? Verse 7, or who shall descend into the deep, that is to bring up Christ again from the dead? Amen. Saints of God, the moral laws of God are not destroyed, mm -hmm. but fulfilled by Christ. Yes. And now, as soon as we start talking about living by or having God's grace, mm -hmm. it is not a free ticket to get away with sin. No. So let a man not plot in his heart to do wrong because of God's grace, but rather plot in your heart to do right Amen. because of God's grace. Now the Apostle Paul said in Romans 6, verse 1, 1 through 2, in the amp, believers are dead to sin mm -hmm. and alive in God. Verse 6 said, what shall we say then mm -hmm. to all this? Should we continue in sin and practice mm -hmm. sin as a habit? so that God's gift of grace may increase and overflow? Mm. Certainly not. Mm. How can we, the very ones who died to sin, continue to live in sin any longer? Mm. Some people use grace as an excuse. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the Lord understands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, 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 I just give me a little nip. I, I, I. <laughs> Y'all, come on now. Girl, mm. What you looking over there for? It's a three-second rule. Quit looking at that woman more than three seconds. You won't get in no trouble. Mm -hmm. Three seconds. Mm -hmm. That's enough. Otherwise, you're getting into lust. Mm -hmm. Thousand one, mm -hmm. thousand two, thousand three. That's long enough. Uh -huh. Long enough. <laughs> and then you won't. And then your heart don't get full of something. Yes, oh, let me stop now. Let's hear. The Apostle Paul said that um, certainly not. So Christ is the end of the law. With his death, burial, and resurrection, Jesus fulfilled the purpose and goal of the law. The law was given, y'all, to show the new nation of yes. the Israelites, the freed Israelites, what sin looked like mm -hmm. and how they were to live in accordance with these laws in order to be seen as, righteousness, as righteous before God. But they couldn't do it, mm -hmm. and neither could we. Mm -hmm. We can't do it either. Now, all of this was in the Old Testament, and the Old Testament pointed to the coming of the Messiah, yes. who would become the perfect sacrifice for the atonement of man's sin. Jesus said in Matthew 5, verse 17 through 18, that he did not come, he mm -hmm. did not come in opposition of the law mm -hmm. or the prophets or to destroy the law, but he came to fulfill it. Yes. Jesus is the completion of it. He lived it perfectly. Yes. Understand me? Because no man could do it. Mm -hmm. No man could do it. Okay, because we were, boy, please, if we had, if, it, if we didn't get, Jesus didn't come, we would not make it. Mm -hmm. We would not survive. So when Jesus was walking the earth, in order for Jesus to provide us with righteousness, justifying us before God, he had to live as a perfect lamb. No spots. Anybody got any spots this morning? Uh -huh. No wrinkles in his character. Uh -huh. No imperfections. Uh -huh. So when he died, he was the perfect spotless yeah. lamb Amen. to voluntarily be slain for the atonement of sins for the world then and for the generations to follow. If one believes in him, here we go. I told you we're going to ring the believe bell. If one believes in him and his finished work at the cross, salvation is available to all who what? Believe. believe. He had to live a life of complete obedience to God's law. God's word was extremely or entirely author authoritative meaning no room for failure without immediate consequences. But Jesus submitted to it perfectly. Mm -hmm. There's that scary word again, submit. Many still don't understand, or they do understand, but are in rebellion mm -hmm. towards submitting to authority in the church. Yes. Mm -hmm. In the home, mm -hmm. to a husband, mm -hmm. to a wife, mm -hmm. children towards parents, mm -hmm. to the law of the land. Yes. Why do you yes. think? Why do you think we're losing so many people? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, we ain't saying that the law of the land is righteous mm -hmm. in a lot of its application, mm -hmm. but you ought to submit to the law. Mm -hmm. Oh, the word of God talks about that too. 
the, uh, people, people rebel. Mm -hmm. But Jesus obeyed the laws of God perfectly, allowing him to impart righteousness to those that believe and put faith in him. So saints, understand, the law cannot save anyone. Mm -hmm. Get, is that clear this morning? Yeah. Jesus saves. Mm -hmm. Nothing can bridge the gap between a holy God and a sinful man but Jesus. Receiving Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior is the only way. Somebody say amen. 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 Now notice in verse 6 that Paul says, but righteousness, which is of faith or based on faith, says this. Mm -hmm. Paul now is progressing from righteousness of the law mm -hmm. to righteousness of faith. faith. Just as Moses left the children of Israel without an excuse when they promised to keep the law upon entering Canaan, Paul is leaving his original audience right now with his modern day and his modern day readers without excuse. Somebody say no excuse. No excuse. The righteousness of faith is not a mystery. It is not hidden in heavens, nor is it buried in the deep. The righteousness of faith is not attainable by human action alone. We do not have to ascend to heaven or to launch into the deep to bring Christ and have him revealed. <laughs> Christ has already, saints yes, of God, amen. he has already done all the work necessary for humans to obtain yes. right standing before God. Mm -hmm. Christ descended from heaven. He took on human form yes. and he fulfilled the righteousness of the law by living a life free of sin. Amen. Huh? He bore the penalty of sin. Mm -hmm. He suffered on the cross, mm -hmm. died, rose again, so that we might be declared righteous, regardless of the sins we have committed in our lives. Mm -hmm. See, saints, some people out there right now in some serious turbulence. Mm -hmm. But I want you to know, if you believe, believe, believe. if you believe, mm -hmm. you can be free. Yes. You can be free and you can live a righteous life before God because if you believe in God, if you confess yes. in him, he will set you free. Yes, he, he, will, he will declare you righteous. Amen? Amen. So uh, Jesus Christ fulfilled. He, he satisfied, for lack of words, he satisfied the requirements of the law so that you and I that believe are justified righteous in the sight of God. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God bless you this morning. Let's, as, as I'm hoping that we are understanding it's a belief issue. Belief, yes. It's a belief thing. Brother Lamar's, it's a yeah. belief yeah. thing. The first thing you have to do, you must believe. believe. Amen? Amen? So so let's go, uh, time is moving quickly. Part three, faith, not the law. Uh, I'm going to go to Romans 10, verses 8 through hmm, 13. Well, I believe it's really 17. 17 yeah. Let's go Romans 10, verses 8 through 17. And verse 8, but what saith it? The word is nigh thee, and even the mouth and thy heart, that is the word of faith which we preach, that thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. and shalt believe in thy heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Yes. Verse 10, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, mm -hmm. and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, whosoever believeth on him, shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Verse 13, for whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe on him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are thy feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Mm -hmm. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. Right. For Isaiah said, Lord, who hath believed our report? In verse 17, so then faith cometh by hearing. Once again, verse 17, so then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Amen. 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 Believing. Yes. Confessing. Faith. Hearing. All requirements. Yes. yes. So faith says what? Mm. Well, 
we are saved by faith and not by what we do, mm. as in keeping the law. I honestly hope someone got that in their spirit. Mm. See, saying sin has cut us off from God, but Paul explains how to get back to God yes. and be saved. Right. It is not a complicated process. Mm. Oh, my. Now, people can put on some shows, can't yeah. you? Oh, my goodness. It is not a complicated process. It's not a scary process. Mm -hmm. Huh? The lights in the, in the building ain't going to shake and the floors tremble, except for God commanded. That's but right. I'm just saying, we, we just scare ourselves into all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Huh? Um, salvation is based on faith and, and the finished work of Jesus Christ that he accomplished there on the cross. Now, Paul, in this mm -hmm. lesson here, verse 8, he continues to echo a man a long time ago named Moses. Mm -hmm. Uh, Moses' word in Deuteronomy 30, verse 12 through 13, in this scene, Moses is restating the law of what sometimes called the second law to the new generation of Israelites as they are about to enter over into the promised land. Hear ye, O Israel. Mm. I hear him speaking to the nation in that Charlton Heston voice. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> you know, but uh, anyway, I'm just saying. He's talking to a nation. He's trying yeah. to restate the law yeah. to make sure that you get this. Moses let them know that the law was not some hard, something that's hard to understand, uh, uh, some hard code to understand or decode that they could, had to figure out. Mm -hmm. It was not buried treasure that they needed to go hunting for. Mm -hmm. Likewise, in verse 8, Paul reminds the believers that the word of God is near us. Yes. It's in our mouth and in our hearts. Yes. It is not based on what we will or will not do, but is based solely on faith. We must believe. The mystery of salvation, the righteousness of faith, has already been revealed in Christ. Mm -hmm. This lets me know that people can spend their life, a lifetime, wandering around, complaining, being stubborn and resisting the truth, and trying to justify their sinful lives. We see it every day of our lives. And they end up de de denying or they end up dying in their own deceit. Mm -hmm. People deceive themselves because of self-righteousness rather than being justified, righteous, bestowed by Jesus Christ and having the faith in him that is required. Right. Moses told them uh, that the law is very near them, very near them. Sometimes something God had graciously uh, made available to them. And Paul in the New Testament mm -hmm. is saying uh, things to the, saying the same things to the Romans. Mm -hmm. And you, and to you and I today, and who will, whoever will believe, salvation is is obtainable. It's right here. Yes. It's available to you. It's available to us. It's available to the entire world. Salvation is not hard to find, mm -hmm. my friends. Mm -hmm. It is not hard to find. That's right. Go ahead. Paul goes on to tell the people that in verse 8, that Jesus, uh, that in Jesus, you have the gospel message that is as close to you as a person next standing next door to you or sitting next door to you. It is in your mouth. Mm -hmm. That's the confession. It is in your heart. That is the belief mm. that Jesus died for our sin and was raised from the dead. And if you believe, then salvation is yours to have. Mm -hmm. It is just that simple. Mm -hmm. This is the mystery of the faith, not meaning a secret here, mm -hmm. class, but salvation revealed. Mm -hmm. So to all those that wish to act like the Pharisees and the Sadducees of old, uh, as it concerned living by the law and add more to salvation than what Paul is saying that is required in Romans 10, 9. And... I just want to direct your attention once again to verses 9 through 10. Read, please. In verse 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth. Say what now? That Say if it. thou shalt confess with thy mouth and the Lord Jesus yes. and shall believe in thy heart. Wait, whoa. Hmm. They do, do what? And believe, believe. In, in thine no, heart. Stop right there. Believe where? Here. Oh. Believe, people. You have to just believe. Mm -hmm. All these antics and shows and electric sliding and putting on all this stuff. Hmm. Please, all you simply do is Just believe. believe. Yeah. But you gotta mean it. Yes. But you gotta confess it. Mm -hmm. You gotta confess him and believe it. And it's with your mouth. Mm -hmm. Confession is made into what? Mm -hmm. Salvation. Salvation. It's simple. Mm -hmm. But we church folk can get to be some kind of comical, mm -hmm. trying to lead somebody to Christ, putting on all kinds of shows not necessary hmm. it is not necessary he's given us the yeah. roman road to salvation walk it go on there 
the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Yes, indeed. Thou shalt be. Yes, amen. Do what? Be saved. How? Shall? Shall be. That's, conf that's, a, that's an affirmative thing, isn't it? Mm, amen. Affirmative. Thou shalt be saved. Yeah. Well, this is what make, makes life so hard for us. Salvation is for both the Jew and the Gentile. You see, class, mm -hmm. there are both Jew and Gentiles that still don't believe the gospel. Mm -hmm. But it is near anyone who wants it. And as we get close to closing here this morning, verse 13 says, Whosoever mm -hmm. shall call, whosoever shall call mm -hmm. upon the name of the Lord shall be shall. saved. Mm -hmm. Well, saints of God, let's look closely at this verse for just a moment. My studies revealed to me mm -hmm. that calling on the name of the Lord for deliverance is a practice and a provision for believers only. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Hmm. I've learned, verse 14, that in my studies that before a person can call on Jesus for deliverance from temporal wrath, or that means secular worldly troubles and consequences mm -hmm. of sin, he must first believe. That's right. How are you going to call on what you don't believe? Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. All right, now. Through the hearing of the gospel, mm -hmm. and one needs a preacher for that, or a witness, mm -hmm. he must first hear it. He needs to believe. Now, if you look at 15, I've also learned that preachers can't go on their own, mm -mm. but must be sent. Mm -hmm. And if one is sent, he must first be called. How are you gonna go? How are you gonna be sent somewhere if someone ain't called you to send you? <laughs> huh? Where, where are you going? Mm -hmm. Out on your own, uncovered, mm -hmm. renting and a raven, with the spirit that the God ain't sent you nowhere. Mm -hmm. yes. This is why it's so important for us to come underneath the leadership of, of studied men and women that mm -hmm. understand the word of God that can help us to defend and take care of ourselves out here. Mm -hmm. The Bible talks about us being like uh, sheep among wolves. Mm -hmm. And they say that some of them sheep are standing right there in robes looking like uh, angels of light. Mm -hmm. We need the word. Yes. And we need preachers in order to hear the word. Mm -hmm. We need a witness or an evangelist or a missionary mm -hmm. or a brother or a sister in Christ mm -hmm. witnessing to somebody else so that they can Hear the word. Yes. How many avenues are there in this in our at our availability today, Brother Mars? How many mm. avenues are there pushing the word out? The word can be sent out in the form of a song. Mm. Isn't that right, Sister Jair? Mm -hmm. Witness oh, for the Lord. Now I wish I could sing. If I could sing, I'd be working with Sister J. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I could I could I could sing, you know, I just don't, you know, I don't get much practice. But anyway, it also that preachers ought to be sent and mm -hmm. commissioned by Christ. In verse 16, let us lets us know that all have uh, believed the gospel. That 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 lets us know that not all have believed the gospel. Mm -hmm. Not all have, and not all still don't. A lot of people still don't believe the word of God. Mm -hmm. They'll believe what they say on CNN. Mm -hmm. They'll believe all the nonsense on Facebook mm -hmm. and Twitter and TikTok, and they'll believe what they say at the state capitol. They'll believe what they say at the CDC. Mm -hmm. Ain't none of them going to save your life. Mm -hmm. no, sir. Not your internal life. Believe the gospel. Mm -hmm. You have to believe the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. With all the distractions that come at our young mm -hmm. people in this world today, mm -hmm. with all the trouble in the world today, who do you want to believe? Mm -hmm. Does not the world mm -hmm. continuously let us down? Yes. Think about it. Jesus is our way to salvation yeah. because we are not going to be here forever. Mm -hmm. So we need to believe him. You have to trust him. You have to have faith, faith. in him. Yes. That quiet trust. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to boast about a thing. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is believe. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? In verse 17, so in order for us to have faith we need in Jesus, one must hear the preaching. Mm -hmm. He must hear the preaching and the teaching of the word of God. Trust in him and believe in him. Believe in the word, believe the gospel. Amen? Amen. And let's, let, let us do these things mm -hmm. and live a life of peace. So, if a man, if a man is in sin, he must first what? Believe. believe. He must first believe God. Mm -hmm. He must make the statement as shown in verse 9, Romans 10, 9. Mm -hmm. He must confess and then must believe and then he can be saved. So whosoever believes Whoever call upon the name of the Lord 
shall be saved, but you first got to believe in him to call him. That's right. So I said we will ring the word believe mm -hmm. until the bell ring, and it's five minutes off the bell. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. 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 Thank God for you. Let us pray here. In our prayer for this morning, Father, how can we say thanks that we are mm -hmm. reading and studying the lesson is evidence of your love for us, for which mm -hmm. we thank you. May we live righteously because we are righteous. And may we, through the power of the Holy Spirit, witness by our words and lifestyles that Jesus Christ is Lord through the glory of God, the Father. In the name of Jesus, we all pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. 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 And we thank God for you. Amen. And we thank God for your being amen. here today. And we always uh, encourage everyone. I'm sitting before you, or the Sunday school teacher sitting before you for about anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. And we, there's no back and forth dialogue here to discuss because time won't allow that. That's right. So we constantly and we fervently encourage you to study the word for yourself. Yes, amen. Study for yourself. Yes. Amen. Sometime I might get some bones in my mouth. And you might need to spit that out. Mm -hmm. hmm? Eat the meat. What? Spit, spit out, out the, the bone. Because sometimes we get a little choked. But I want you to understand it's necessary and it's critical for your life that you get yourself a Bible, study for yourself. Amen. There's many, many resources out there. And there's many that are greater, much greater than I, much Amen. greater, that can help you under in understanding the Word of God. Amen. Amen? So we invite you now to join us either here in the sanctuary at 1210 mm -hmm. Martin Luther Avenue for our morning service beginning at 10 a.m. or meet us on our Facebook page. Amen? Amen. Amen. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is that flow that makes me white as snow.